Andy Skekman is president and owner at Miles Franklin, one of America's oldest and most trusted bullion dealers. He has been following the silver market for decades. This is what he says. Most of the people that I talk to are not buying gold and silver to get wealthy. They're buying gold and silver because they believe that the dollar is in trouble and the markets are in trouble and that it, it's about uh, return of your money more than return on your money. And so most people that I would talk to would have no interest whatsoever in selling when it, when it doubles in price any more than they are in selling if it loses 40% of its value. And they understand the dynamics of what's going on. This is a high stakes game. There's, there's a lot of uh, players involved in that are trying to mitigate the rise of price because what it signals about the Western economy and about the currencies, but what gives me optimism that we're on the right path and making a statement like that is that if price was determinant of demand, then not only in this industry, forget about the retail, why are the biggest exchanges in the world being bled dry of their supply? The people who have the wherewithal and the ability to drain COMEX, drain the LBMA, the authorized participants who have taken over 100 million ounces out of SLV, the record high premiums in Shanghai and Dubai, you're talking the smartest money in the world is accumulating gold and silver. And as I've said before, classic misdirection. They are using the cover of suppressed prices to do so. And it's very obvious if you're watching. The problem is most people only see the price. I play golf here on Saturdays with a very, very successful money manager. And you know, he, he's managing over a billion dollars. And he says the same thing to me every time. Well, you know, with 40 year high inflation in this crazy world we live in, gold is doing nothing and neither is silver. And that's all he sees. He's a very well educated, um, successful money manager. And gold and silver are just off the radar. All he sees is the price and he's missing so much of the reason that the price is down and he's missing the whole reason why you need to own gold and silver, which is emblematic of, of most of the people in this country that will be completely caught off guard. And on top of that, when you talk about record high inflation, just read something from the Social Security Administration that 60, more than 62% of everyone in the United States made less than $50,000 last year. 52% made less than $40,000 last year. 41% made less than $30,000. And 30% 30 of every American made less than $20,000. And with, with uh, salaries and wages not rising with the cost of living and all of this craziness that is happening around us, this country is, is ill-prepared for what's coming down the pike. And even the money managers and the quote-unquote sophisticated educated finance guys and gals, most of them, because of the suppression of price, have never taken a close look under the hood. Why is it suppressed? How is it suppressed? And what does it mean? And I think that's really the thing that I take away from this is that most people, and this is what I talk about about the elephant, we are the little pimple on the back of the elephant the elephant doesn't notice anything yet. Yeah, they see inflation and they see war, but you know, everything will be okay like it's always been. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. And if it's not, whether you're talking about people having no savings, uh, people with money all being piled into equities and bonds. Um, you know, look, when you talk about valuations, the Fed's balance sheet has grown from 800 billion to 9 trillion. It's all an illusion. And when interest rates and valuations, prices find equilibrium, it's gonna be a religious experience for a lot of people. You throw in supply chains, problems, massive inflation, um, unemployment, um, on and on and on. And, and look at the, all you see when you turn on the news every day is, is anger and fights and shootings and beatings. And I can't even watch the news anymore. 
my son lives in Manhattan, took a job at, at uh, Price Waterhouse, and I hate every time I see what's going on on the subways in New York. I mean, can't watch it. This is the divisiveness that we're seeing, and the divisiveness you watch every time you turn on the news, you see how our president is calling people who supported uh, President Trump uh, radical and ultra MAGA, whatever they're, whatever he's calling it, and this divisiveness between vaccination and non-vaccination, between blue and red and black and white and rich and poor, and it's just getting too much. And I think uh, something's got to break. And the the scary part about it is it's not just financial, it's the whole moral social fabric is ill-prepared. We have no unity. The people that I used to talk to when I started in this industry, the World War II vets who worked their fingers to the bone, lived through the depression, were completely patriotic. Their word meant everything. They were educated and they believed in, in God and they believed in in freedom and liberty and, and would have died as many of, uh, of these young kids at 18 years old on Normandy Beach did. They died for this country and would do so in a moment. That mentality, that, that type of um, uh, moral fabric has been disintegrated. And I think if, if times get very tough, this is, is really important that people take a step back and think about all of this together, what happens? if some of these things really do happen and why it's so important to prepare on many different levels and, you know, spiritually, uh, religiously, um, all of the things that go along with living your day-to-day -day life, it's just as important to get yourself right there also. And this is a bigger picture that concerns me more and more and more because, you know, it's like, why did Social Security Administration and the IRS load up on AR-15s and 223 ammunition if they're not expecting something when the when the dam breaks? And I think the dam's going to break, and I think people need to prepare right now. And the worst part about it is that by the time people wake up to prepare, there is a good chance that what they would prepare with will will be crumbs, if at a, at all. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time. They get your life. You are not even in a rat race. You're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know. But I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available, and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marcus Dan.